Hi, I'm Louise Fletcher, Abstract Painter, and today I want to talk to you about why you might be asking the wrong questions. So when you ask me about my tools or my process, you're asking me the wrong questions. Stephen King once famously talked about how he was often asked what kind of pencil he uses to write with. The most common questions I get are, what brushes do you use? What type of paper do you paint on? What brand of acrylic paints do you use? The answers to these questions are easy. I use any kind of brand of acrylic paint that I can get my hands on. I use cheap brushes from the hardware store and I really don't look after them. So I buy new ones when I've left them lying in the water for too long. And I use any kind of paper that the art shop has in stock or that I have lying around and I usually gesso over it. Hmm, so tools aren't the answer. If you love my paintings, and God bless you if you do, knowing what kind of paint I use or what brushes I've got at the moment will not help you to make anything similar. Because you can take the same tools and replicate my exact same process and you still won't get the same results. Because we all make our own art, we all have our own voice. No matter what tools you use, that's going to come out. But if you understand how I got to where I got to, you can do better than replicate what I'm doing. You can make your own exciting, authentic, unique art. So rather than asking me what tools or what materials I'm using, really the right questions to ask is why am I painting what I'm painting? And what knowledge or skills am I applying to conjure up the effect that I'm looking for. So why do I paint the way I do? This gets to the question of inspiration. Whenever you ask an artist that question, you're wanting to get to the essence of their inspiration. I believe you have to know what you care about. I think you have to have a point of view. You wouldn't write a novel that didn't have a plot and you shouldn't paint a picture that doesn't have something to say. That something can be, look how beautiful the color red is. It can be, I saw these flowers and they were stunning. It can be, look how amazing this landscape is. Or it can be something truly deep and profound about the meaning of life. That what the something is, is not important. What's important is that there is a something, that you have a point of view. And the more specific you can get about that, the better. So when I first started painting, some of you have heard me say, I used to think I was painting the landscape because I loved the way it looked. Then I realized I was painting it because I loved the way it felt and the sense of space and the wind and the atmosphere here. But then upon further reflection, I realize there's even more to it than that. It's about my childhood memories of this place. It's about my deep connection to it. It's about returning back to it after a long time away and what it means to me. So the why can change over time. You delve further and further into it and it can be different for each painting. There just always has to be a viewpoint. So to take the flower example, if you thought the flowers were stunning, what was it that was stunning about them? Was it the colour against the background? Was it the way they were arranged? Was it the different sizes and shapes of the flowers? Once you know what it is that you want to tell me about those flowers, then you'll make decisions about composition and value contrast and colour and mark making that are all to do with what you want me to look at. So this to me is the difference between the artist who's dug really deep into what they want to say and the one who hasn't. The one who hasn't is simply just copying whatever he or she sees. The one who's dug deeper is telling me something about what he or she is seeing. So that first important question that I wish people would ask is why do I paint the way I do? And the second important question I wish people would ask instead of what brushes or what paints do you use is what skills, what knowledge are you employing to get the effects that you're getting? Because that's the important thing. Ask any artist this question and you can start to understand a lot more. So if I want to paint the landscape and get this sense of space and freedom and joy and all these memories from childhood, what decisions am I going to make about composition and colour and value contrast? 
that are different from if I want to paint this landscape and get a sense of a violent storm in a big spacious on a big spacious empty moor those will be very different decisions about the color choices and the value choices much more dark and light when I want to create drama if I wanted to create a sense of peace and calm and quiet then I'd have very muted value contrasts and very different color choices again the decisions the skills and knowledge that an artist is using to convey what they want to convey are things about the way they compose the picture, the colours they choose to use, how much dark and light contrast there is in the picture, how free and vigorous or tight and controlled the mark making is. All of these things go, go towards telling the story. So if somebody did ask me how do you paint the way you paint, I would talk about the decisions I make in those areas and I would talk about how I try to balance intuitive painting with more thoughtful decision making so and that if I go too much towards one or the other things can get out of hand so if I go too intuitive then the painting loses its focus it loses its point of view I'm not trying to say anything anymore and if I go too thoughtful it becomes too tight and too rigid and gets loses all of its excitement so my work looks the way it looks because I have an idea and because then I'm employing these strategies to communicate that idea. The brand of paint, the type of substrate, the type of brushes, none of that could matter less. So having talked about why I paint and how I paint, I'd love to know about you. Why do you paint the way you do? Drop me a comment below and let me know and I'll check back. And if you'd like to learn more about how to express your ideas in paint, do check out the amazing Art to Life free online workshop. Happens only once a year and it's coming up in February. There's a link above, below, wherever you're watching this video. You can just click to join and I will see you there because I do it every year. That's it for me this week. I hope it's been helpful. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think and I will see you next week. Bye bye.